Throughout the two years of the Fitzgerald inquiry, Sir Joe Bielke peterson steadfastly maintained that he'd been unaware of the extent of corruption in Queensland and rejected any suggestion of dishonesty in his own affairs. We get the same denials in this book, Sir Joe's autobiography, which has just been released. The former Premier agreed to this interview. So, Joe, thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you, Heather. So, Joe, you ceased yeah. to be Premier two and a half years ago. Yes. And yet your presence still hangs heavily over state and federal politics. How much longer do you want to loom over the political scene? I don't want to loom over it at all. I'm trying to get out of it. I'm in business now. But that uh, is people like you, Yana, who drag me back occasionally. And uh, I want to leave them, well do the things they want to do the way they want to do it. I've been there, I've done that. Uh, so Joe, mm. in your book you liken yourself to a porcupine sticking in a goanna's throat. Yeah. It's true, isn't it, that they can't swallow you nor can they spit you out? No, yeah, no. there's a goanna in the museum if you want to see it. Just like that, he tried to swallow the porcupine. That's what they thought they could do with me. And it doesn't work. They, uh, well, fooled themselves and of course made a mess of it. They thought that they could very, in a very simple exercise, replace me, I'd go away, I'd disappear, and that would be the end of it. And they'd go from strength to strength. They did exactly the opposite. They went the opposite way. And uh, they were so... Well, they weren't very bright, were they? Put it that way. So, Joe, your critics yeah. would say that despite your professed Christian values, yes. you're not good at turning the other cheek, that you are, in fact, a very vindictive man. What do you say to that? I'm not a vindictive man at all. I'm a positive man, and, I, and there's no way in the world that... I let, or want to let people tramp on my toes, kick me in the shin. See, for a long time, Yana, I put it this way. I said, everybody that walked past me in the political arena gave me a good hard kick in the shins. And I've often said, I've got no more skin left on my shins, simply because everybody wanted to kick me, until I realised that you've got to look after yourself. Nobody else will. It's not being vindictive. It's being positive. It's being strong. And, uh, uh, well, giving a direction. That's all I did. And, well, ever wanted to do. You've certainly been thrashing around for a while. Your yeah. critics say that you cost the coalition the 87 election, that the repercussions of Fitzgerald's exposure of corruption in your state caused them this election well nigh. What do you say well, to it? Well, that's of course, as you know, a lot of nonsense because there's corruption every, in every state, far more even than in our state. You take how the government's involved in Western Australia, in, in Victoria, and but, all but this so, sort of so thing. Joe, ha having a look back at Fitzgerald's yeah. revelations about your state, yeah. you must be embarrassed, angry, well, upset, any no, of those? No, well, the, the main thing was, uh, Yana, naturally, I did not know, if, as you can understand, what went on. But on the other hand, yes, I was uh, very disappointed. I was, couldn't believe it for a long time that these sort of things had been going on. But they've been going on as... These, these very men have said for 29 years. Well, Sir Joe, you're at great pains to uh, assure us that mm. you are an honest man, yet your honesty has been seriously challenged, hasn't it? No, in which way? Which way do you mean that? Well, this program, for instance, presented yeah. compelling evidence that you accepted bribes. No, 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 no. I don't know where you get that one from. Yana, when you talk about corruption, any of those things, I, I want to tell you something, that you and your people uh, I'll talk to you at a, later, at a later date on corruption in a place at a time that you probably won't, won't like. But you know that and there's no need for me to mention it here today. Well, that is not true, Yana, and you, you're getting again on very, very dangerous ground when you start talking in that area because that's one area I will not accept or tolerate. Well, Sir so Joe, the, the allegations remain on the public record that, that you took bribes from your friend Sir Leslie Teese. What yeah, do you have to Yana, say about those allegations? Yana, that's the one I'm just telling you. I am going to talk, or we are going to talk to you and your people at a time and a place that you are not of your, not of your preference. Well, what exactly your, do you mean by that? Well, if you're clever, you can work it out. There's no need for me to tell you that. That, you know, that is not true. You know it's not true, All right, Yana. so legal proceedings against us are continuing? Yes, and you, that's correct. All right, well, the allegations that we made then and we make still mm. is that you received bribes for use on your property, bribes like a hangar, like uh, costly yeah. equipment repairs, like vehicles from Sir Leslie Teese. Uh, so, Joe, what do you say to those allegations? I say, Yana, a very simple thing. You are completely and utterly wrong, as we will show very shortly at the appropriate time, at the appropriate place that I've told you of. And, and nothing has been proved. 
You, the, they have been looking at it for a long time. Yana, you are wrong. Who has been looking at it for a long time? Sir well, the inquiry people, the investigating people. Would it surprise you to know that the people who worked for Sir Leslie Tease say that it, it was common knowledge that you had this kind of material delivered to your property? Yana, you are wrong. You should first of all have a very close look at the people you're talking to. We will, you will learn all about that at that place where you won't be very happy at being later on. Well, let me ask you, yeah, yeah. bluntly, did yeah. you ever accept gifts, bribes from Sir Leslie Tease? No, Yana, I'm not going to continue in that argument in the sense that it is completely and utterly untrue and wrong. And you will find that out later, Yana. You are wrong. The allegation made against you by a number of people who worked for Sir Leslie Tease who claim they delivered these goods to you mm. is that you had an arrangement with him to receive these kinds of things as required. Yana, you know very well that you are, you've got your foot on the sticky paper. You're trying to make the most of it, to make your sort of reputation and name and get people to look at it. I said, tell you, Yana, that is not true. You are completely untruthful in saying that, that statement because it didn't happen and we can easily prove it and we will prove it. Why don't you prove it to me now? Well, you won't believe anyway and this is not the time. I will d prove it to you and you will have to substantiate your things, your statements at the appropriate time well, in I, the I'm appropriate place. I'm prepared to substantiate mine now. How yeah. about you, Sir Joe? Well, you can't substantiate. That's, that's where you're wrong. Again, you cannot substantiate it. Well, you, saw, you saw the evidence in our story, didn't you? You saw the people who claimed to have delivered a hangar, yes. vehicles yes. to you. You saw that. You disbelieved that, that evidence? That is not true. They pulled your leg. They pulled your leg. They did not do that. Yana, I would suggest to you, you want to wake up to yourself. That never happened. Yana, you see me sitting here telling to you, they never delivered a hangar. They never built a hangar. Let me ask you yeah. this. Did you ever receive anything from Sir Leslie that could have been misinterpreted, perhaps, as a bribe? No. There is nothing that I received from Les Thies that could be interpreted as a bribe. That is not true. Yana, you're only trying to build your stocks up by using me like so many others have. You've tried to climb on my back once again through this program. You, I was told that you were going to speak to me about your book. Now, now again, you have diverted from the original arrangement that were made, and that was to talk to you about the book. But then I wouldn't expect anything else from you, Yana, by your record, as I've seen it recently. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, you work it out for yourself. Well, I, I really can't, Sir Joe. You've made the claim. You tell me. Well, the, you are saying things that are not true, Yana, and you ought to know that. You ought to at least be careful of the people you talk to who get these things. That's where you're going to get an awful shock of your life. Well, uh, uh, as I say, I, I'm ready and, and yeah. willing to, to hear yeah. your side of the story. This is why I've taken the opportunity to ask you no, about no. it. Well, I'm telling you, Ayana, can't you hear me? I'm telling you, you, it is not true. You have gone up a dry gully. You say in your yeah. book that Sir Leslie Tease is the businessman you most admire. How do you respond to allegations that he and his company cheated the Queensland taxpayer by writing off work done for his own family against Queensland government projects? Now, Yala, look, how do I know anything about what you do? I, all I know is you, you can't stick to the truth a lot and you get waylaid and go up dry gullies occasionally like you have. But how would I know what Les sees or somebody else does? Well, you say that he is the businessman you most admire. Well, Are you willing now to back his integrity? I back Les Cees as one of the great men of this state, as I said in the book, and I said it freely and knowingly, knowing that uh, you and people like you might say the things you say, but Les Cees has contributed more to this state in a physical sense. The roads, the bridges, the opening of coal, the coal industry, he pioneered all that, those sort of things. Well, what and about this particular claim that I've just made to uh, you? What do you think of that? Well, that's before the court too. La Yali, you shouldn't be talking about either of the events you're talking about because they're before, they will be before the courts. You know that. Well, Sir Joe, I know that there's nothing barring us having this conversation and here's your opportunity to put your feelings well, on the record. Well, I tell you, you're wrong again, Yali. Just don't try and besmirch the character names of people by this sort of stuff. Sir so Joe, on the one hand you complain mm. that you get bad treatment for the media and yet when I openly put these things to you and give you the opportunity of yeah. defending yourself if you like, yeah. you, you turn the request down. No, I, look, Yana, I'm telling you, you are wrong. It is not true. What more can I say, Yana? You are trying to climb on my back so that you can get your ratings up 
and this sort of stuff. I know you're backwards now. I, you're not what I thought you were when you resort to this sort of tactics of trying to besmirch the character of characters of p different people. So, Joe, you quote the words of uh, your brother in your book who mm. said to you before he died, mm. never sell your soul for filthy lucre. That's true, yes. Can you honestly say now that you heeded his warning? Yes, I did. I have. I left a million dollars behind my superannuation. I didn't take it. Were you going to do the same? I gave a lot of my salary away in the early years, particularly, uh, in, in, back in the electorate. People know that. That's on record. And these sort of things. And in every other regard, your conscience is clear. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's only people like you who try to make it look otherwise when you, when you don't really realise what you're talking about. You are completely wrong. Well, Sir Joe, obviously investigations of your affairs yeah. continue by the special prosecutor. Simply because they can't find anything. Do you expect to be charged? No, I don't expect to be charged. That's the last thing. And if they attempt to, uh, in any way, misconstrue things. There's no way in the world they can prove anything because I have not acted that way. I have not acted in the way that you are trying to suggest to this audience. You're wrong. Sir Joe, we'll leave it there. Thank yeah. you for your time. Former Queensland Premier Sir Joe Bielke-Peterson. Coming up, Aussie girls carving out a career in the competitive world of international modelling.